Look at the rain gauge of mom and dad's. What do you think? About an inch, Ellie? Alrighty. No, not quite. 73 here at home. It was in the 90s yesterday and the corn was hurting. It's gonna perk up today. <laughs> Doing stuff like that really lets me know that I could never be a surgeon. I am not steady at all. Well, thanks for clicking on this video, everybody. As you can see, we got a little bit of rain, about three quarters of an inch to uh, just under an inch. Uh, we've been getting them kind of like clockwork, just short of an inch rains every 10 days or so. It's keeping the corn alive. The corn was looking real tough yesterday in the heat incredible keeping it alive and we're getting so close to being able to be like yeah we're gonna have silage some good silage you know we could still of course always get a hailstorm anyway dad's on vacation so we're doing the stuff that we want to do want to get done that we don't need dad's help on well, that's kind of getting warm which is uh we're gonna weld up some gates i, I want to do four to six of them is what the plan is probably about five or six of them we're starting out with some big pipe. This is three and a half inch. I like to use four and a half inch, but I had this on hand. They don't have caps on top. We don't want rain getting in them. And so that's what these two little circles I just cut are for. They're gonna just be welded up on top here. So it's gonna be a little soupy where I wanted to work today. We're replacing that 16 foot yellow gate and we're gonna put two 11 foot gates in, making a 22 foot wide hole. <laughs> Got the caps on both those pipes. Now where we're gonna be working, there's cattle in that pen. And once I put those poles in the ground and cement them in, I'm gonna have to let them sit there for a couple days, let them get hard before I weld gates on them. Luckily we got two freestanding panels right here. Gonna make a temporary fence, get that set up, and then we'll start taking the old stuff out. Dig holes, cement the poles, and that's kind of the most of what we're doing today. It would have been pretty easy driving through here with a skid loader yesterday. Now it's gonna be a little bit tough with this moisture. That is some, oh, I about slipped. That's some tough driving. If I get stuck, it's gonna be tough because 
Dad's not around. With our bigger manure spreader that we upgraded to last fall, we're having a hard time making this turn. And so really just want to extend that gate out an extra five feet with a beefy welded metal pipe. It's gonna be good. So I got my bags of concrete, picked those up yesterday. Holes ready to go, I'm just gonna throw them in. We got a level, we'll level it, push it in a little if we need to, and then we'll start chucking bags in. And then we have these couplers in here, which I had to hammer in. Some of them are pretty tight. Always wanna make sure we get those in first. That way it helps us figure out where we wanna set that in. We got it leveled up it's real nice as you can see we're using a new tool this year we'll talk about that here in a minute i keep putting too much water in there so i gotta add i gotta add a little bit more but i'm getting dialed in so once you get it all mixed up you just put this little pin in here Holds it over for you. Ooh, that's pretty good stuff. Third time's the charm. So in the past, I'd pour a five gallon bucket of water in the hole and then just dump that dry powder in, kind of poke it around. Got a lot of flack for that. It did work well for me. You know, it's not the right way to do it. So my options were either do enough of these where I can just get a cement truck in and it's worth their time and my time. Rent one of those concrete mixers that spins. Saw this, I don't know where, somewhere on the internet about two years ago. It's a steely mixer made in the USA. I was like, well, I got a bunch of projects to do this summer, including building a deck, which we gotta put some concrete foundations in for that. So I thought if I'm building a deck, I want that to be as good as it can. So this came in about a month and a half ago. And if you noticed, it was dirty before I started using it. My older brother loves doing concrete work around his house and he's used this about four times. 
and he said he really liked it so i was pretty excited to use it today what jake used to do in the past is put some water and powder in a five gallon bucket hold on to a big drill and do that while well, stuff's flying everywhere your bucket starts spinning so he appreciated that i let him borrow this mixer so far my only trouble with it today is i'm not doing a good job of putting the right amount of water in but but that was first try right there so i'm getting the hang of it so once i get the rest of this in that hole probably gonna head home for lunch let that set up and then uh we'll come back we'll weld up some gates we'll weld these on to this pole and in about two days we'll weld those gates onto these suckers Guess I didn't really need the hammer hooked up, but better to have it ready. Some quick lunch and then come back and we'll start building a couple gates. We got I want to get two of them done today. We got most of the metal cut for one. We got the frame of the other done. Just got to lay continuous in there. We got the happy corn today. It's beautiful. Perked up and probably grew six inches since last night. Oh, had a whole bunch of meat and some ice cream for lunch because I'm an adult and I can make those decisions. But also my mom and dad are gone so they couldn't tell me no. There's more of the monotonous work. <sighs> you know, I got a wire wheel, everything, clean it up and then weld 20 different spots and flip it and yeah, it takes a while but we'll get it done. It'll be nice when it's done. We're gonna do this one and build one more today. Can't ask for a better day. Cloudy, cool, I'm still sweating, it's humid. All right, it's, it's about three o'clock. I gotta catch something later today with Tiffany. So uh, we got plenty of time though to whip one more gate up. We got this one done, got the hinges on it, got the chain latch on it, but we don't have chain. Storla Station does, I'd run over there, but they're closed today. I'm gonna set this one outside, get materials for the next one and start putting that together. It's gonna be pretty much exactly the same length. So this gate is just short of 11 foot. I was looking through our pile of cut pieces of used continuous. That's what that inside piece is. And I found this one that was like 10 and a half feet. And it was the closest thing we had. And I thought, well, I don't really want to take a brand new continuous piece and cut a chunk of it off because that's a good way to waste some expensive material. Those brand new are about $150 for a 20 foot piece. So I thought, well, if I take some couplers, shove them in there and it actually make it easier to put this together i don't have to cut pieces i just poke that in and pull it back out as far as i need to go that'll work real well save some time save some money i know i'm young but the back is hurting i took some preemptive ibuprofen at lunchtime put a little 
icy hot on it. You know, just all that bending over. It'd be nice if I had a tall table that I could set this on, work up here, set it down here. This reminds me why I only make a couple of these every year. It definitely was a nice way to do it, fast and everything buttered up, perfect. Flip her over, let's get this one done, throw it outside, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. sun's poking out a little bit we got a little breeze we're just gonna weld these kind of couplers extended out onto the post they're feeling pretty solid already I had to pound some of these in and this one down here I cannot pound it back out I'm gonna light this torch up heat over here get this stuff to expand a little and then maybe she'll come Perfect height. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I know what you're thinking, that Cole, he's a smart man. And you're right. Got a lot done today. Got two posts in the ground. Built two gates. Tomorrow we're gonna do half that. We're gonna put one post in the ground, build one more gate, let that concrete set for a couple days before we start putting a lot of weight on them. Two days from now, I gotta get a tractor up. We got something exciting we're doing with that. Gonna go home, ice my back, or take some 20 ibuprofen. Thanks for watching. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.